This is a dramatic reading of an anime post from 20 years ago about the animation of The Legend of Cristania, and let's just say opinions differed. Carlos wrote, As for character design, I think it is just fine. All anime should not look the same. No! What? What? But aesthetics does not have its place. And but ugly Kara design is but ugly Kara design. Lacking shadow, minimalist, washed out, color scheme, just generally blah. I think it is original, creative, and unique. The animation is sound and appropriate. There are no glaring errors. We're talking about movie material, not TV series stuff. Movie animation should be a step beyond. No obvious errors. It should come at least up to OVA standards. The animation direction had no flash, no flare. It was ponderous. The animation suffered from the same limits as the Kara design. Dull color scheme. Short on shadow. Minimalist. It would have been passable as a TV episode. As a movie, pfft, it was way under budgeted. It is a unique approach to animation. In what sense? There was no initiative in them. No initiative in animation techniques. The story was scribbled yet again from somebody's RPG. And the character interaction was pure post Brooks power fantasy. I, for one, had no trouble following the storyline. It all made sense to me. And if some people are confused by the use of the name Ashram from Lodos, then they should not be so, so limited. Pardon my limits, but setting up a political struggle in Kiddo's home country, and then leaving it unresolved and failing, it irritated me to no end. The country of the gods was, god stuff was pure H. Rider haggard rubbish. The scheme of flashbacks and flash forwards was amateurish and disconcerting. I'm not saying I didn't eventually figure out the plot. What I'm saying is, it took more effort than this wisp of a story was worth. Not to mention the fact that they used the nth time the tired old hero finds a power winding in se poix. <laughs> Mitch, Quest Labs, Department of Bile and Spite. <laughs>